Previously on McLeod's Daughters. Come on! Go, go, go! You've got to get out! Come on, Anna, please. I'm Jody. <laughs> Life's complicated. And I really wish it wasn't. You must be the girls next door. Alex has told me all about you. This is Fiona, my fiance. Can't really blame anyone else but myself. I should have should have done something sooner. I should have told him how I felt. Shopping? Oh, silly question. What's with your shag wagon in the drive? Ah, uh, Stevie's friend, someone she met at the pub. Ooh, party girl. She's been out every night this week. I hope he's better looking than his car. <laughs> G'day. I'm Lena. I'm Cran. Want if I help myself? Not at all. Is Stevie on her way down? Didn't look like it. Life. Thanks. Um, let me recycle that for you, Leo. <laughs> so, um, have you known Stevie long? Long enough. I'll uh, tell her you guys are waiting. Oh, there's no rush. Could be sorry you said that. <laughs> <laughs> we really have to get out more squirt. Talk about a bonus. All I expected from Gungullen was a beer and a game of darts. <laughs> <laughs> like to see you again. Or maybe next time you're in town. It's a date. Oh. <laughs> Don't go getting married or nothing, okay? Chop some firewood. He seems nice. Yeah, nice enough. Um, didn't look quite so young last night. <laughs> mm, young men eat a lot. Do you think we should get an extra supplies? Oh no, he's not moving in. <laughs> well, feel free to invite him over whenever you want. No, there's no whenever. We just played some pool. That's all. I know it's been tough with Alex. Oh, no. that's old news. <laughs> Well, that's about everything. Uh, statement should be enough for the committal hearing. Right, so what's next? Uh, more paperwork for me, but, uh, yeah, just uh, keep your head down until the trial. You got me out here to tell him to do nothing. Well, the trial's been moved forward, so we'll be over soon. Great. So don't do anything to rock the boat. Why would I do that? I wish there was an easy way to say this. Your dad passed away, Rob. Heart attack during the night. The neighbour found him. He was alone? I guess so. When's the funeral? It was last week. Thursday. I'm sorry, Rob. We couldn't risk you coming home. For my dad's funeral? That had been waiting for you. You'd be a dead man. It's still too dangerous. Rob? Don't forget what's at stake. Don't 
throw it away. Didn't know we were the early opener. I've oh, never been big on sleeping in. Well, don't tell Harry that. He'll expect it every day. Morning. Terry, where do you keep the old papers? Oh, it's a few weeks worth back in the office here. Yeah. Feel free. What you looking for? Yeah, I did. Mm. Whose idea was this? Sandra led the way. I don't know. You know their room's just through that wall, don't you? It's thick. You won't hear them snoring. Well, it's not the snoring I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> nice room, yeah? The old room was fine. Alex. A girl like Fiona expects more than that. Don't you worry, I'm looking after you. I hope I can return the favour. So how was the city then? Everything sorted? Yeah, I got more clothes, books, CDs. I'm a happy girl. Pleased to hear it. Alex, this bloke's been working in the district. See if he'll do an aerial spray for us tomorrow. Go. I can bag the best drawers while you're gone. I'll give you a hand. Sandra, it's just a suitcase. But thanks. I'll manage. Very sharp. Where's the party? No party. Oh, OK, so I'm not invited. But that's fine, mate. Give it to me straight. I'll just tell Alex I'll be away for a few days. Sure. Everything OK? Just family business. He can manage without me till then. Someone's died. I'm going to the city. Kate, move him over. Let him through. Hey, 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 hey! There you go. Good as new. Thanks. Hey, someone's gonna have furry teeth. They left this in the ladies' loo. That might be okay for the CWA sale. Second-hand toothbrush. Yeah. Planning on using that? Oh, that depends on what you try next. So you two have met then, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, we bumped into each other at the top. Mm, she knows her way around a pool table. Oh, she sure does. So are we on for tomorrow, mate? Yeah, not a problem. Good right. Doing a spray for Alex it means I'll be around for another hot night. You're an ag pilot. Best in the country. Bacon egg roll. So you two didn't get to talk much, huh? I thought you were in the city with Fiona. Don't you change the subject. Hey, Stevie. Just in case you missed it, his name's Leo. <laughs> uh -huh. It's a city girl survival kit. There's some beautiful soap and body butter. Things you might need after you pull your first calf out of a bog. For me or the calf? Well... <laughs> Here we go. Oh, have I missed the birthday already? Oh, you will know if you do that. The pain will be swift and terrible. Beautiful. That's really sweet. Thank you, Tess. Yeah, thank you, Tess. My pleasure. You get that crop duster lined up for tomorrow? Yep, all done, Harry. What are you spraying? Pesticide, the usual. Well, you normally give us more notice than this. Yeah, 